Dobry den, hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush and I make reactions here on YouTube. And today we're going to be continuing on our Eurovision 2024 series that will be held in the city of Malmo, Sweden on the 7th of May. For the last few weeks we have been looking at the potential songs to go forward for Poland, which the song is actually going to be internally selected. We still have no news though when the date is that they're going to pick the song. However, I do believe there's been 60 representatives wanting to go forward and the deadline was on the 2nd of February. So I'm hoping soon we get some kind of news. We have looked at Luna, Justina, Pansavian and a couple more. But right now we are going to be looking at a few others because there's just so many. Like I think this year Poland is going to have a very, very strong song considering what we have been looking at. The next song that we're going to be looking at is probably one of my most highly requested ones and that is is by Jessian with Tanjuk or Tanku Tanjuj Tanjuj <laughs> I've never pronounced that. I'm sorry. I believe this is from a movie. I, I actually don't know what it's called. This is 7.5 million views. But is it going to be good enough for Eurovision? I don't know. Let us get into this to see what it's all about. But before we do so, if you would like to see full unedited reactions as well as some exclusive content, I will be uploading all of that on my members only. So if you click the join now button down there, you will get to do that as well as helping support me making these videos for you further. And if you're new here and love a bit of Eurovision, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Uh, licking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and if you want to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok it is Nush101 clicking play now is this animated oh it is slightly animated Ooh. Okay, why am I getting Midsommar? Do you remember that film? I don't know if you've seen, is it Ari Aster? It's such a visually appealing film, kind of creepy, but it's giving me a lot of that folk vibe thing, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? It's got that traditional thing about it and I love the instrumentals here with that violin. I don't know what it's called, but please let me know if this is a Polish traditional instrument, but yeah, I mean, what, it's been 20 seconds and I'm already into this, so. The drum. Ooh. Okay, so this is literally in the film. Oh, it's a wedding. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. I really want to watch this film. It seems like a, very much the kind of film that I'd like. Let me know if it's worth watching. I mean, it clearly is if it's got this many views, but this music, this really nice drum with the, with the strings in here. There's a lot going on, and wouldn't it be cool if we actually had the performance of this similar to the music video? I think that would be really awesome. Oh, the men here are a bit aggressive. Like the dance moves. She does not want to get married to this man. Oh, oh this is dramatic. Hey. So she's having an affair with someone or a few people, I'm not too sure. The melody is really good. I feel for her, man. Very midsummer vibes, like 
It's very dark, but the song is so happy. I think, I can't understand what they're saying. So maybe it, it is in the lyrics too. He is creep. Ugh, oh no. No. Okay. Whoa, I have shivers everywhere. <laughs> it's like in a bad way, but also in a good way. I mean, no wonder that was used for the soundtrack for a film. I absolutely loved this track, but I think the music video was distracting me because it is so dramatic and I really want to watch this film. I don't know if the film has come out yet though. Let me know down in the comments. I don't know why I'm having trouble trying to find out information about this film. Maybe it's not to be released anywhere else in the world. Regardless, let's focus on what we're here for. And that is, of course, to see if this would be a good representative for Poland to have in Eurovision. This is definitely the most traditional song that we have looked at in this selection. And obviously, when it comes to that, I'm here for in Eurovision. So I think that it would be a very good representative for Poland to have something like this, especially like what I was saying, having an element of that music video in there. We'd love to see these traditional costumes on the stage with dancing, like in the circles. It would just be visually a really exciting performance. I don't know, it could be really theatrical. Instrumentally, this song is absolutely beautiful and very enjoyable. It's got that slight up-tempo and dramatic melody, which is obviously why it's been used in a soundscape. I think if you're gonna portray this on the stage in that similar way, this will do very, very well in Eurovision. It's not a super catchy hook though. Like I'm not just kind of singing along to the melody, but I'm not really going, oh, I'm gonna download this and listen to it on repeat. Uh, I don't also think that this is a winning vibe. Justina's song still is my top right now. It has that memorability, it has got a playability, and it's definitely got a staging that is ready for Eurovision. But if this was to go through, I'm obviously not gonna be mad. I really love this. And it would be really nice for Poland to have an artistic and also traditional number in this contest. I'm always down for that, you know that. But anyway, right now I am gonna go and listen to a couple more of these possible representatives for Poland. And let me know also down below if there is another song you want me to react to that I haven't. And of course, that was just what I thought. I wanna know what you thought of Tanjuk or Tanjuk down in the comment section below. I'm gonna go and I will see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.